smoke screen, a device to hide the convoy and confuse the attack. Any and all means of defense must be taken against the terror about to strike. High-level bombers and low-level bombers, torpedo planes and strafing planes, submarines, the entire holocaust of Nazi fury. Relentless, unbroken. But while the convoy reels under the slugging, more death is on the way. The German surface fleet lurks in hidden Norwegian fjords, waiting to smother any surviving Allied ships. The mightiest warships in the German Navy, von Tirpitz, Scharnhorst, Scheer, Prinz Eugen, Lützow, are poised to thwart the Allied lifelines. Too wary to be brought to open battle, the ships sortie only for sudden strikes. But when they do, the Royal Air Force catches them and smashes the Germans as the Germans smash the convoys. The Germans reel in the seesaw struggle for the Arctic, but the Murmansk convoys come close to full disaster. The German attacks continue around the clock, continue for days on end. If the Germans can choke off the flow of supplies to Russia, munitions, oil, food, machinery, guns, planes, tanks, trucks, the bleeding Red Army may collapse. The entire Allied cause may face defeat. The battle is in balance, and Goering's Luftwaffe spares nothing to tip the scales. Some convoys, 
only one half of the ship survived. On no other sea route are losses so high, casualties so terrific. Even for those who survived the German onslaught, the end is not yet. Another ordeal, as fierce as enemy action, scourges the ships and men of the Murmansk run. The name of the ordeal, weather. Journey's end. Through its ice-free harbor pour many thousand tons of Allied supplies that sustain a friend whose call for help we are pledged to answer. Here American, British, and Canadian seamen make their proudest boast. Despite Nazi hell and Arctic high water, we deliver the goods. The goods that bolster Russia in her darkest hour and help stem the German hordes at Stalingrad. The suspicious Russians restrict the movements even of their own allies. But sometimes surviving Allied sailors meet Russian seamen as friends, as comrades in arms. 